morning, Ironhurst Middle School. It is Wednesday, April 21st, 2021, an even block day. And here are your morning announcements. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Eighth graders, your family should have received an email Monday night from a company called Envision. They are the ones that will be doing our virtual promotion ceremony. And in that email, there are directions on what you need to do and submit in order to be acknowledged during our virtual promotion ceremony. Now, I know there are some questions about virtual promotion versus in-person promotion. Here's the clarity. Everyone will be recognized in our virtual promotion ceremony. So that is why it's important that you submit all the things that they're asking for prior to the day, due date, which is May the 12th. Our in-person ceremony will be on a volunteer basis. So if you choose to do the in-person ceremony, then awesome. We cannot wait to have you. Again, virtual is recognizing everyone. In person is going to be all those that want to participate. More information is coming, so please stand by. I know that you are coming up with your theme in core class, and we're excited to see what you come up with. A little bit more guidance on our lunch procedures. Sixth graders are going to head directly out to the blacktop and eat lunch and get squared away. Seventh and eighth graders, you're gonna start in the courtyard and then at about 11.15, we'll make an announcement, blow the whistle, and all those seventh and eighth graders that want to participate in activities on the blacktop or in the soccer field, you'll be able to go do that. Basketball for the seventh and eighth graders will be on the left side courts and soccer for the seventh and eighth graders will be on the right side of the soccer field. So you got the opportunity to get out, get out there, move around a little bit, so please enjoy. And then once Ms. Jackson blows the whistle and you turn all of your equipment in after you wiped it down, we'll hold at the gate and then once the bell rings to end lunch, everyone will be able to go head straight to their classes. All right, hope that provides a little bit more clarity on our lunchtime procedures. And oh, by the way, seventh and eighth graders, Make sure that you're not taking any food or trash out to the blacktop. Clean up after yourselves. Let's keep our campus nice and clean. Thank you. Good morning, Iron Horse. GSA is here to inform you about Day of Silence. Day of Silence is a worldwide protest against LGBTQ plus harassment and inequality, which is put on every April. Our colors to show spirit are purple and black. This year's Day of Silence will be on April 23rd. The main way to participate in this protest is to be silent during school hours and to dress in our spirit colors. Everyone is completely allowed to change the hours they are silent based on their schedule or situation. You can pick up Day of Silence stickers on Tuesday, April 20th at the front of the school along with the library pickup from 3 to 4 p.m. The Zoom background we designed represents how at the end of each GSA meeting, we link elbows to show unity. If you want, you can participate in the Day of Silence this year by saving this picture and add it as your Zoom background. To download the Zoom background, either screenshot that or email Priya Rafi and you will get emailed back the picture. We'd love for you to join us in GSA Club. We meet every other Monday and love welcoming new members of the LGBTQ plus community and allies. We have forums, bi-weekly meetings, and lots of fun activities. GSA always has open arms to anyone wanting to participate. Over the last year, we have seen the news media showing a lot of social injustices that have occurred in our country. Uh, unfortunately, this is something that we have a long history of. And being in a pandemic has made it even more difficult to see these things uh, with the use of, of cell phone videos and those types of things. But with all these things that have been going on in the Asian American, the African American communities, everyone processes these things differently. And so I want us to be respectful of one another, 
Uh, yesterday, we saw the jury announcement of the verdict in the trial of Derek Shelvin in the death of George Floyd. Some people are taking it a really difficult um, because they're on the side where they feel this was the right thing. Other folks are taking it really hard because they feel like it was the wrong decision. And we need to create space for all those feelings. So I just want to encourage you to be respectful and mindful of classmates and colleagues. And sometimes this topic might come up in class. Just, again, be really mindful and understanding that folks have different perspectives and we need to be here to support and care for one another. We shouldn't be judging one another for our differing opinions. You know, that's part of what makes uh, being a citizen in this country uh, great is the fact that we can have differing opinions, we can discuss, uh, we can share and do it all respectfully. Just, uh, we should just be trying to gain an understanding versus uh, making a judgment on someone. So keep in mind our school-wide focus this year, liberty and justice for all. Liberty and justice may look and feel different for different people, but let's do our best to provide that space and support for one another. Thanks. All right, Jaguars, it's Wednesday. Let's make it the best Wednesday of the week, and we'll see you back here for morning announcements on Friday. Take care.